start our reading mini lesson. OK, we're going to talk about being able to check for comprehension. Checking for comprehension means that you check to make sure you understand what you read. If you don't understand what you read, is there any point in reading it? No, if you don't understand it, there's no point in even reading the book. OK, so today what we're going to do is we're going to be talking about what good readers do to make sure they understand. OK. This is a slideshow that is on your StoryWorks website. Remember yesterday how we all registered our StoryWorks magazine so that you guys can see it online? Thank you, Brennan, for your feedback. Good job. So yesterday you guys all got on StoryWorks and you made sure that you uh, added the account. So you, you started it, you have it. But you guys on this website, you actually have resources. So this right here is a slideshow that's actually on the StoryWorks magazine. And it's talking about, hang on, let me log in. So this is what you guys did yesterday. You all clicked, I'm a student. I'm going to click, I'm a teacher. And then you guys had to type in a, a plant ship password. You don't have to do that again today. You just sign in. I'm going to click on latest issue because that's the magazine that we we have right now. And then I'm going to go to the Titanic article because that's the one we're going to talk about today. While I'm pulling this up, somebody open up your chat box and tell me, what do you know about the Titanic? Anybody know anything about the Titanic? It sunk. Yep. Ben wrote that. Very good. It was a long time ago, Ian. That's true. Um, Cruz, open up your mic. Talk to me. It was the biggest ship in the world. It was at one time. It was the biggest ship that was uh, carrying passengers. Very good. Um, it hit an iceberg, Peyton. Very good. Xavier, he wrote that the water was really cold. Ian, people died. That's very true. Ben, good job. All right, everybody focus right up here at this background builder. Does everybody see this? Give me a thumbs up if you see it. Awesome, Mary. Way to participate. All right, so this says we're going to be reading about a team of scientists who studied and explored the deep ocean. Their mission was to find the remains of a famous ship lost at the bottom of the, of the ocean, which was the Titanic. Okay, there's a map. This map is telling you where and when the story takes place. So it's showing you, there's a line here. It says most of the story takes place in the, in the sea, in the North Atlantic Ocean. So you can see here's the North Atlantic Ocean. It says the main events happened in the year 1977. I saw Aurora wrote that it was 100 years ago. It was actually even longer than 100 years ago. It was 1977. Some of the events in that story happened before that year. It says the Titanic sank in the year 1912. That's when the Titanic sank was more than 100 years ago. OK, but these these this story is going to talk about things that happened in 1977. So here's where the Titanic sailed. You can see over here is England and Ireland and France. This is the US. The ship was traveling to the United States from these countries over here. Another thing it says is who are the people involved in this story? So here's a picture. It says this story is mainly about an oceanographer named Robert Ballard. An oceanographer is a kind of scientist that studies the sea. Ballard and his team invented a special type of submarine that can explore the ocean without any humans inside of it. So the submarine goes down without anybody in it and can explore the ocean. It says they controlled it with a remote from a different ship on top of the water. Why? What was the Titanic and why did it sink? This is going to give us some information about the Titanic. So the Titanic was a large, luxurious ship that was sailing from England to New York City. Raise your hand if you know what luxurious means. Raise your hand. Um, Aurora, can you tell me, open up your mic, what is luxurious? I forgot. 
Okay. Um, ben, what's luxurious mean? It means you're really, really rich. It's like a really It's a fancy ship. ship. Yeah. Very good. It's very fancy. So this was a really, really fancy boat. It says it carried over 2,000 people and included a swimming pool, fancy bathrooms, and a grand staircase. Now, some of you all may not be shocked by that, but in the year 1912, that was over 100 years ago, and this ship had a swimming pool on it. It had fancy stuff. It was a really, really, really nice ship. Not a lot of people had ever experienced that before. It says, although the Titanic was thought to be extremely safe, it ran into an iceberg. Water started pouring into the ship, causing it to sink. It says, what happened to the people in this story? So this isn't the people. These aren't the people that were actually on the ship in 1912. These are different people. Okay. These are people that were exploring. These are oceanographers. Okay. It says Ballard and his team used the new invention to try to find the lost Titanic. This is that submarine they were talking about. They searched the deep, dark ocean, taking pictures and videos of everything they find, hoping to discover the famous ship. Read the story to find out more. So that is what we are going to do. We have the actual story. If you all get on your StoryWorks, do you see this right here? It's a video. This video will actually play and it will read the article to you. But I'm going to go just to the story and I'm going to read it to you guys. It's the same story that's in your StoryWorks magazine right here. Okay, if you open up your StoryWorks magazine, it tells you the nonfiction page four is where this this article is. So do you see it right here? And do you see it on my computer? This is the same article. Okay, so it says it's do you notice right up here at the top? It's genre, which means the type of book it is. It's nonfiction. Can anybody raise your hand and tell me what is nonfiction? Mary, what's nonfiction? It means it's not fake. It's not fake. Very good. Nonfiction. Non means not. Fiction means fake. So nonfiction means not fake. Mary, awesome job, baby. So this story is true, okay? It's titles right here. It's got Searching for the Titanic. And then we've got a subtitle over here. Could the most famous shipwreck in history ever be found? And this book is by, this this article is by Lauren Tarshish. Have any of you guys ever read the I, um, I Survive series? Raise your hand if you've seen that. Raise your hand if you've read I Survive. It's like I survived a, a shipwreck. There's I Survived, um, a bear attack. There's all kinds of I Survived books. Lauren Tarshish is the same author. Okay. So she's the one who wrote those books, but she's also who wrote our article today. Okay. She's who writes all. Oh, very good. The Spanish. Some of you all are telling me some of the books. Very good. The Spanish virus. Somebody said the I survived a bear attack. Very good. Okay. Uh, ben, ben, I mean, Ian said that he read it for his 20 minutes of reading. That's good. Brendan. Yep. The earthquake book. So that same author is who actually is the editor of this magazine. So if you like those books, Lauren Tarshis is who writes a whole bunch of the stuff in this magazine. So you're really going to like StoryWorks. All right. So this article, if you notice, do you guys see these down here? I'm going to zoom in on the article. Do you see this right here? It says pause and think. Raise your hand if you guys ever pause and think while you read. You pause and think. Xavier, do you pause? Do you pause and think about what you read? Guys, if you don't do that, you've got to start doing it. Okay, today's assignment is actually making us pause and think about what we read. Okay, so today while I'm reading, I want you guys to watch how I stop in sections and I think about what I just read. Okay, so here's the article. It's called, Remember Searching for the Titanic. Could the most famous shipwreck in history ever be found by Lauren Tarshish? There's the picture. Now I'm going to start reading. I'm going to read right here. And this, this button right here will actually read the magazine to you. It was April 14th. 
14, 1912, the Titanic sped across the Atlantic Ocean. The sky glittered with stars. The sea was as still as glass. This was the Titanic's first voyage, but already it was world famous. It was big and beautiful. Many believed it was the safest ship ever built. And then disaster struck. At 11.40 p.m., the Titanic hit a massive iceberg. The ship's thick metal side tore open. Icy seawater flooded the ship. The Titanic was doomed. There weren't enough lifeboats for everyone on board. Out of more than 2,200 people, only 705 escaped. Less than three hours later, the Titanic disappeared into the black waters of the North Atlantic. Would it ever be seen again? Okay, I paused it because do you see right here? What is it asking me to do? Cruz, open up your mic. What's it asking me to do, babe? Pause and think. Okay, can anybody read this pause and think question? Uh, Xavier, will you open up your mic? Read it to me. What? Do you? What right here. You will you read this pause and think right here? Read that from my okay. screen. What does it say? What happened to the Titanic? Okay. That is asking, that's making me comprehend what I just read. So the question's asking me to stop and think what happened to the Titanic. And I know what I just read because I actually was thinking while I read. If you don't know what happened to the Titanic, then that means that you weren't really paying attention. So as a reader, I myself sometimes am guilty of reading something. And then when I get done, I'll sit and think. I just read because I didn't focus on the book. So if you do that as a reader and you don't remember what you just read, what do you have to do? Raise your hand for me. What do you have to do if you can't remember what you just read? Aurora, what do you do? You read it again. You read it. Aurora! Everybody, let's do happy hands for Aurora. Woohoo! Aurora, awesome job. Did you guys hear what she said? She said to read it again. Guys, if you can't think about what it is that you just read, you've got to stop and you got to go back and you got to start over again. Okay? Because there's no point in reading something if you don't understand it. Thumbs up. Okay. So can anybody tell me what did we just read that happened to the Titanic? Raise your hand for me. Ryan, open up your mic. Tell me, what is it that we just read? What happened to the Titanic? It hit an iceberg. iceberg That's right. And then... It hit an iceberg and then it's three hours later, it was, it disappeared into the ocean. It sunk, right? So did, did Ryan understand what he just read? Yeah. Brendan, you're doing awesome at participating. Very good. Okay. So guess what? This goes into your assignment today. We actually just answered number one on your assignment. So I'm going to show you guys that assignment. I'm going to pause. I'm going to skip over some slides, but look, this is your assignment today. It's called pause and think the first question it's directions. It says below, you're going to find the pause and think questions from the Searching the Titanic article. It says in the tw September 2020 issue, read the sections that go along with each question, then answer the pause and think questions below. So here's the first section. It says the beginning section. What happened to the Titanic? Did we just stop and ask that question? So all I have to do is type what it is that Ryan just told us. Okay. That is your assignment today in reading. So if you all go to your Google classroom and you go to do the orange dots. Okay. There's the pause and think assignment. If you click on that, your screen looks a little different than mine. Your pop up is going to show view assignment and you're going to have actual work here. Mine's different because I have the teacher's view. But your screen is going to have a little thing over here that says your work. Okay. When you click on that, 
this assignment's going to pop up, but your name is going to be on it. Not pause and think. It's going to say your name. Then you guys are just going to type on this document. Okay. You're going to click on these features and you're going to type your answer. Give me a thumbs up if you think you can do that. 